Hey guys, welcome back to the playground. Today I'm gonna be reacting to 10 disturbing things you should never Google. Let's watch. I'm kind of scared, I'm nervous already. I haven't even started watching it. Okay, get on with it. Jiggers. Jiggers what? Oh. Jiggers are small sand fleas that are found in sub-Saharan climates and are most prominent during the dry season. The jiggers are parasitic burrowers and are also known as chigo fleas. The parasite Yo. lives in soil and sand but feeds on warm-blooded hosts like animals. Gross. In humans, the parasites may burrow in the hands or feet. The female jiggers burrow into the surface of the skin. Ew. Once embedded in the body, the jigger lays eggs and creates up to pea-sized egg sacs and continues to multiply by laying more eggs. These wounds are painful oh and cause difficulties gosh. for victims in daily activities. The infection can lead to severe inflammation, ulceration, Ew. and fibrosis. It can also cause lymphangitis, gangrene, sepsis, and the loss of toenails, amputation, Ooh. and death may also occur. Is this real? Ugh. This is one of the most messed up gore stories ever. Okay. Daniel Philip Petrie was born in 1991 in Blumenau, Santa Catarina, Brazil. Daniel was 16 years old and his friend Gabriel Kuhn was 12. The boys were both fans of an online role-playing game called Tibia. Okay. On July 23rd, 2007, after Gabriel borrowed some in-game money from Daniel, but was unable to pay it back, Daniel got really upset. He stormed into Gabriel's house Ooh. to beat him up very badly and rape him. After that, oh. he strangled Gabriel with a wire until he fainted. Oh, that's and disgusting. went on to cut off his legs with a hacksaw. What Gabriel in regained the world? consciousness and screamed in pain, but that didn't stop Daniel. The autopsy clearly showed that Gabriel was alive when his legs were cut off. Oh. He died soon after with pain and blood loss. Daniel tried to hide the body in the attic, but failed because he could not lift Gabriel's body up the 1.8 meters above the ground. Look, it shows the so little blood stains when he's trying. And decided to leave. At 16? Gabriel's mutilated body was found soon after by his horrified brother. He was then transferred to a juvenile offender to serve a sentence of just three years in prison. What? For sure he knew what he was doing. But my God, who's thinking about this at 16 years old? On August 19, 2015, an anonymous user on the 4chan website What's 4chan? that he had killed several women and wanted others to guess who he had killed. And in return, he would lead them to a body that he dumped in 1999. He further indicated that the first picture was a freebie because her name was a bit unusual and unlikely to be guessed. Eventually, when another user guessed a name right, the alleged killer posted pictures of a young woman on the thread, Aww. both when she was alive and dead. That is so and disgusting. She seemed to enjoy being with him before her demise. Aww. Several users banded together and found that the woman was Shauna Maynard, whose killer had never been caught. Wow. Although the FBI became involved, the user has not posted anything else since then. And has oh. not been identified. Oh, I thought he On said he was September twenty second, two thousand fifteen. The poster came back. Oh, but this time with images of a male. The first was labeled "dying, dying," and the second "dead." What a sicko! I don't know that I can watch all of this. A body farm is a research facility where decomposition can be studied in a variety of settings. The aim is to get a better understanding of the decomposition process, permitting the development of techniques for extracting information from human remains. Nicknamed oh my God. Farm, Who wants to be used for that research? Provides a unique opportunity for CSI teams to replicate murder scenes in the most realistic setting possible. There are between 150 and 190 mm -mm -mm. bodies littered among the foliage all donated by people hoping to bring killers to justice from wow. beyond the grave. 
Oh, went gross. Globally viral in October 2007. It so features gross. two girls licking each other's chests, followed by one of the girls filling a pint glass with her own feces. Yeah, that was nasty. If you haven't seen two girls with one, one cup, it's very disgusting. Later, It'll change your life. Girl has a fine specimen that she squirts out of her mouth a few times before swallowing. No thanks. Girls start pulling the trigger and puking in each other's. Oh. Mouth. Tub Girl is a famous internet shock site that first appeared on Style Project in 2001. The actual Tub Girl image shows a Japanese woman exploding orange enema liquid from her anus, which lands on her face. Okay, I have to stop this right now because that's not kid friendly. Yeah, no, no thanks. If you guys would like to watch the rest of the video, I'll leave the links below. But yeah, let's not do that. Thanks for joining me on the playground and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!